for today's video I will be sharing how to propagate basil plants from cuttings so this plant or these two basil plants or Thai basil plants I've grown this from a cutting and this is the mother plant as you can see it grew tall I have actually four seedlings or five actually however all four died because they produce flowers and normally in annual plants like basil plants they start to, to die when they have flowers so it means that they're already producing seeds and it's the end of their life cycle so it's advisable to prune those uh, flowers that's what you call deadheading so the plant will have uh, a longer lifespan so this plant is the only remaining um, basic plant and this actually also flowered but it started to recover as you can see there are no new growths over here and also here so if this plant decided to die it's actually a, pain, uh, a painful word I will try to get these cuttings and root them so hopefully this uh, plant survives but luckily um, I've made some or I've got cuttings so I have an extra one in case uh, those basic plants died but it turns out they actually die so luckily I have these um, cuttings so when you're picking cuttings you must um, also get one from the top growth so this is the main stem as you can see and I've pruned the top stem or the top growth of this plant so that it encourages the plant to grow side stems so this is getting bushy and also here I've also uh, pruned the top growth so that method is called topping now make sure that you have clean pruning shears or scissors if you don't have because it will actually transmit disease so you can disinfect them by cleaning them or swabbing it with alcohol or disinfectant so these pruners are a bit dirty but it's actually just the rust but I actually dropped the pruners here so there's now some residues of soil and if I use this pruner this basil plant might actually got blight early blight so those are soil borne bacteria or diseases so I'm gonna use this instead this uh, pretty sharp scissors it's hard to film using or one hand for the camera and one hand for demonstration so you just need to oops just need to cut the stems uh, sorry the leaves the bottom leaves before you place them in water all right so now this um, cuttings are ready to be soaked in water and in a few weeks it will grow roots so I put my cuttings here and I'll just place them in water so make sure no leaves touch the water only the stems because it will actually kind of like dry or rot the plant so I have also some sweet basil here by the way this basil is Thai basil or holy basil so this basil this is a sweet basil and it already has a rich uh, brood system I have no idea why my dad uh, still haven't uh, planted this thing yet in uh, this batch yet into the soil but I have also some other older batches of basils, basil cuttings so they still haven't grow roots so in a few days if you already have if your cutting already has um, a rich root system it's ready to plant into the soil 
So I also have other herbs here. I have rosemary and mint. So, oh, this rosemary actually have some roots now. So that's our video on how I propagate basil from cuttings. Thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, like or share it. If you have some comments or suggestions, leave it in the comment section. If you want to buy gardening products, I will put the link in the description below. That's for nationwide only. If you want to see more videos and support my channel, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Akashal, signing out.